People don't realise how big they grow, how much robber they cause, and how many health problems they come with. We even have people say, like, he's old, I don't want him anymore. We're going to get a puppy. I'm sorry, I mean, so my Basil there, he's 12 next year. I would never, ever dream of replacing him for a puppy. They're, they're part of your family. They're part of your life. They rule your life. But I couldn't be without my dogs ever. I work a lot with canine partners in Chichester and then the BSA rescue down in Dorset. And so basically we're, we're more of a crowdfunding group that will help all other rescues. So I've rescued 10 in the last three years. A lot of responsibility comes with looking after a dog with such incredible power and strength. He's 14 stone, so I'll give you a rough idea. Um, I think the biggest one on record was about 16 and a half. When you've got 14 stone on the end of a lead, you've got to be able to control it. But if you don't, you can end up getting yourself in trouble and chances are you'll end up getting the dog destroyed. Plus, someone else will get hurt. Often, Jan says, it boils down to the money, as to why a dog de Bordeaux ends up in her hands. She was a rescue, ex-breeder, bred for puppies to make loads of money, and then disregarded when she couldn't have any more. They sell on a, a, to a breeders anything from £1,500 to £2,000. So bitches are very highly sought after because they just get used as breeding machines. So he had hip problems and was handed in rather than pay vet bills. It's cost me a fortune. It comes with a heartache. Some can't be rehomed because of their vicious tendencies, but obviously that's only from what's happened to them in their past. Anybody who's got anything to donate, no matter how big or small, there is rescues out there that will take it. Surrounded by three very slobbery dogs, Charles Ray Palmer for That's TV.